running the generator for a while this morning to get the batteries charged up really good. Getting ready for the big winter storm that they say is coming. So uh, I'm getting ready and as you can see it, all of our little friends are all getting ready. There's Yeti with his Yeti with his flock out here. Anytime anybody's in the yard, they gotta come out and see what's going on. I'm good then, I just wanted to check on that. Okay. Gotta get rid of some of this stuff in here that we don't use. So I can close that up. We won't need this stuff today. Don't plan on trimming any brush. Or stacking any wood. I always put this in my uh, in my diesel fuel. This is fuel treatment. Um, it's anti-gelling fuel treatment, so it keeps it from gelling in the cold weather. I don't believe I've had a gelling problem yet this year. I don't want one, so every time I put fuel in. I give it just a shot of this. I also try to keep some in my diesel cans in case I forget. And I keep a can of that right in my little box on my tractor. Because why wouldn't you? There's one thing that I don't like about this Kubota tractor. It's the way you have to put fuel in it. A lot of other tractors have the fuel tanks and a much easier place to get at than Kubota does. I always keep a rag around here to wipe that out with. Diesel fuel never really dries out. It always stays kind of oily. Because of that, everything sticks to it. I don't like this going through my tractor. I damn sure don't want it in my injectors. I know the fuel filter will catch most of it. I get it, but I always try to keep my funnel as clean as I can. Don't tell on me about my non-government approved gas cans. All right, here we go. Now that we've got that down a little ways, it's just as quick to get rid of the spout. Actually, I think it's quicker. There we go. Well, I think that gauge was off by a little bit this morning. Although I've probably only got about three or four ounces left in the in the can, so it wasn't that far off. This hadn't been started in several days. We didn't plow this last storm. As you can see, I'm walking around in an inch or so of, sto of uh, snow. I'm thinking we probably saved ourselves some money because it would have cost almost the same to plow that as it will to plow 10 inches. So, we're gonna check this, make sure everything's in neutral. Technically, this isn't safe, but I start, start it this way all the time because I'm gonna leave it running. I'm not gonna climb on and off the machine if I don't have to. So we're gonna warm up the glow plugs for a minute and it should fire right up. Just like that. I'm gonna let the old girl warm up for a few minutes. Charge the battery. I might warm up the hydraulics a little bit. But right now we're gonna let it idle. Everybody say hi to Shelly. <laughs> oh, that's a warning sign. Got B the industrial beagle out here with the chickens. The chickens are overplaying in the firewood. That's always good. While that warms up, I'm gonna relocate my old truck out of the way. This poor thing hasn't been started in over a week. It's been several days, it's been over 20 below, so. Hey, started right up.
putting some tarps over this thing to keep the seed and the dash a little dry for tomorrow. It's not in very good shape, is it? And again, neither am I. we got the tractor all ready to go my trucks moved they said we got to go to town this afternoon move the other one batteries are all charged uh, I guess the only thing left to do is take a walk around and make sure everything's pleased up around the yard we're not gonna have anything get buried or lost panels still doing their thing even though it's a little overcast today These are all still everything's good there nice and clean hey girls what are you doing? They're talkative. They're talking to me. I don't know what they're saying. You can see where they spend most of their time. They've got it treaded right down. Look at that hen right there. That one with the, the white with all the black pin feathers. Doesn't she look like her father, Yeti? Actually, this one over here does too. <laughs> but you can tell whose girls they are, that's for sure. All the other girls and hanging out under the deck. Deck's all cleaned off. We have to shovel that deck. It's actually a lot of shoveling, so we don't shovel our front path. We use the tractor to clear it because once you shovel a deck off, you really don't care about shoveling anymore. So everything actually looks pretty good, which is not, not a surprise because we, we kind of try to keep this stuff cleaned up anyway because I don't like having a bunch of stuff to do right before a storm. I'd much rather relax get rested up and get ready to spend a buku hours in the seat of the old slow tractor. It is slower than using a truck to plow with, but it does an awful nice job. And it doesn't seem to get stuck anywhere near as much as I did with my old pickup. And with that, I'm gonna declare this tractor ready to go. So we have to go get maybe a bottle of whiskey and another jug of diesel fuel. And I don't know, maybe some beef jerky or something. <laughs> that's what this place runs on diesel fuel diesel fuel propane and bourbon at least that's my case well with that we'll have to find out how the snow goes and we'll move on to bigger and better things